With Jamp installed, it's time to do some cleanup to the htdocs folder. Remember that the htdocs folder is the root folder or the location where your website pages and files are stored on the local machine. Get started by navigating to the htdocs folder. In Windows, you will find it on the C drive inside of the Jamp folder then open the htdocs folder. On Mac, you will find it in the Applications folder, in the XAMPP folder, then open htdocs. Inside of htdocs, you will see a number of items. This is what we're going to clean up, so that they will not interfere with our website as we begin building it. Begin by finding and deleting the following folder and files. The Webalizer folder, the index.php page, and the favicon.ico files. Then move everything else inside of the Dashboard folder. This will include the applications.html file, bitnami.css file, and the image img folder. On Windows, there is also a xampp folder. This too should be moved inside of the dashboard folder. When you are done, the only thing remaining should be the dashboard folder itself. Now, find and start the jamp control panel in Windows or the XAMPP Application Manager in Mac. Then start the Apache server. When the server is started, launch the admin tools by clicking the admin button next to Apache in Windows or the go to application button in Mac. When the browser opens, it looks pretty bad. Click the Dashboard Folder link. This is the actual folder. The browser automatically turned it into a link so that we can access it. The tools that we saw when XAMPP was installed reappear. Notice the address bar http colon two forward slashes localhost slash dashboard. From now on, to access the tools, you just need to make sure that the Apache server is running, then type that address in the address bar, and voila, you have access to the tools. That's it for our tidying. Things are now cleaned up and ready for us to start using this space to build our own website or websites.